Hello again, I'm Nathan, you're watching What's My Fault, welcome back to Vampire. As you may remember, last time we killed a giant rat monster boss thing, and then the game crashed. And then it crashed again. So I've managed to get it back up and running, so the only bit I don't have recorded, because I've heard so many times of it crashing, is just killing those three vampire hunters. So I've done that, and now I'm heading towards Whitechapel. As you can see, I'm getting closer to the next point on the map. I have found a hideout near here as well. Anything up here? Right, that I'm assuming is, the, is that the hideout up here? No, that's just a box, sorry. Okay, nothing of use there. I did also find a person. Ooh, what's up here? Who I've spoken to. It's the father of the guy that was selling. The pills is actually his pills. His son was selling them, which is a bit nasty of him, but there you go. So I had a quick chat to him and didn't find any useful information at all. Nothing there useful as well. Okay. There is a dead body. Can I collect anything? No, I can't. Right, this looks like the way to go. Never dead body. Oh, this one I can interact with. Secret case in a ring. There are dead people everywhere, it's awful, isn't it? Right. Yeah, there he is. Ben the bum. He's just a tramp now. He used to be somebody his wife died and he's fell on hard times. So now we have her. Yeah. Good evening, okay. miss. Good evening, sir. Are you interested in a miraculous cure for this unknown and deadly? Oh, yes, please. Actually, I am. Then you have come to the right place. The famous Wanderer Cordial is cordial. To help yeah. you in perfect health. Oh, that work. Really? Why didn't I hear about it during my studies? I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Dr. Jonathan Reed. Ah, my brother has spoken of your research, sir. I'm Loretta Swanborough, and it's always a pleasure to meet a fellow healer. Fellow healer. Nothing there. I haven't undone. Tell me, who intrigues you most in Whitechapel? The region itself is something to see, but I would say... Camellia the mute florist who gives away her flowers. What do you think of the locals? Most of them are afraid or desperate. They all come to me eventually for my remedy. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone I should avoid? Cadogan Bates, without a doubt. The bloody bastard remorselessly exploits poor migrants as soon as they get here. Nice. He's, he's a happy fellow then. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. I don't like to talk about competition. Competition, you say? Never met her, but it seems she provides some sort of medical care to the poor. The whole thing has to be mm. some sort of scam, if you ask me. Quite possibly. Right. Well, I can't mesmerise her, so that's pointless. You look ill, Miss Swan. I wonder if your concoction will do the trick. I'm perfectly fine, thanks to my miraculous elixir. You, on the other hand, look pale and tired, Doctor. Mm-hmm. There's nothing else I can do there. I just need hints for everything. Okay. And trade. I'd like to see what kind of medicine you're selling. Right, so I can come here to collect stuff. I've already got some cordial, I did collect that from somebody, so glass files. I'm a Biden multiple. Alright, let's do that and get, get a bunch of those because I do need glass files for stuff. I'm not sure what I need of all of this, potassium, opium and so on. I can come back because I know she's got them now, so that's good. Its effectiveness has been proven by many. Even right. is she appear on the map? A merchant just show on the map. 
fantastic. Yeah, 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 of course. Bin diving first. Spring. Cool. Check if there's anything in here. You never know. Go into the hidden little corners, you might find something. Not this time. Okay then. Let's carry on going. Da -da -da. What? What do you want? Leave me alone. Mm -hmm. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I'm looking for Nurse Dorothy Crane. There is no Dorothy Crane here. Now, goodbye. I'm afraid this medical leaflet says the opposite, sir. Really? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to close this door right <laughs> now. Go Good bother luck. someone else, Mr. Doctor. Really? To enter that house, I must discover who this man really is. I must insist, sir. Please let me see Nurse Crane. I have no time for you, sir. Guess I gotta find out who this guy is. Mm. Investigate his actions. How am I gonna do that? Right, where did tell me to go now? So I got to go. Mm-hmm. Right, lost the trail of nurse Dorothy Crane after a meeting with some shady gang member. Look found a useful hint of the man's corpse after some fancied scars murdered him. Some sort of coupon for a free medical exam in Whitechapel. The flyers written in English and Romanian. The owners of the voucher invited to find one Darius Petrescu's house and ask for Dorothea. Why is Dorothea and Dorothy Crane the same person? Is she the author of the blackmail that sent to Lady Ashbury? I think I can. I'd better go to Whitechapel as soon as possible to get all the answers. I come from this if I can find her there. I right, investigate his actions. So I've got to have a look around. Maybe is it another way into the building from behind? I wonder. Can I? No, I can't. All right, that's only that way. Right, let's go around the other way then. Okie dokie dokie. That's the house. Can I go around the house? Can I go up somewhere? It's locked, all right. Great, that's helpful. Can I go up there? I can't. How can I not do that when I want to? Hmm. Gotta be another way around. Why does this gate not even let me try and open it? Let's have a look around then. Dum de dum. Trash diving. Not useful. Oh, is this a bit? Mm, fire. Nothing. Do I just have to go keep bugging him till he lets me in? It appears that I might. Although, will she know anything about him? Let's see. Good evening, my dear colleague. Yes. Nope. Damn it. Hints required. I can't mesmerize. Because I'm not high enough. I'm only level one. Goodbye, right. Miss One. Perhaps we'll talk again. Perhaps we will, but I'll try and knock on his door again, then I'll try and level up something. Because this is not going well. So all I can do is knock on his door. Nobody at home. So, what else can I do in the area? Is that the only thing on my map? Right, where was my base I can use? Right, there. Da, da, da. Another dead body, looks the same as all the others. Nothing on him. Is that a 
up there, I wonder. Hmm. Now, now, how far away is this? Right behind me, somewhere. Ah, that's why I do that, so I can get in there. It's locked. It's locked, seriously? You told me that's a hideout and it's locked. Ooh, blood, blood, blood. Bratty rats, come here. Thirst for blood. Come here, rat. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, I can. Come here. Despicable me, indeed. Right, so that's where it should be. So that is the hideout, but I can't lose it because it's locked. That sucks. <laughs> Literally. Okay. No pun intended. <laughs> so, that's no good. Maybe I need to find a drunken guy again. Where's Ben? Ben the bum. Ben Bum, where are you? You were here earlier, mate. Where are you going? Oh, what's this place? No, oh, same place again. I will return later. I will return later. Great. Before. Right, nothing up that way. Let's have an investigation around the area in case we find somebody else I can talk to. Anything of interest? Nobody around anywhere. Well, there's an epidemic around. I went to that before. Let's have a look down here. That's not good. Music's changing a bit. Does that mean there's something down here? Ooh, it's a gate. Their body. Cigarette case and a ring. Doesn't appear to be a hell of a lot around here, I must admit. I can't believe I'm doing this. Well, I don't need more rats at the moment. There, oh. there he is. Oh, but part one. Right. Yo, Ben. Come here, mate. Good evening, Benjamin. Can I help you? I'm afraid not, Mr. Reed. Can I ask him any more questions when he's like that? No, that's just to hypnotise him to drink from him. I don't want to drink from him. No good at all. <sighs> Frustrating because I can't investigate anything. I need to find somebody to talk to. Right. Wander the streets for a minute, see if I can find somebody else, because they ain't any help. Unknown people! Welcome, sir. Uh, please, take a browse of my wares. I am don't Dr. Sure. Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. Doctor? Interesting. I'm Barrett Lewis. Usually I don't have time to waste with talk, but at this hour of the night I can hardly refuse. How is this around here? Business? I have no business. Between this racket, theft, and customers getting scared, I'm losing money every day. I see. 
Sounds like you blame someone in particular for your situation. It's no oh. secret Joe Peterson spends his time harassing merchants. But with me, he's trying to put me out of business once and for all. <laughs> As a merchant, you see Whitechapel every day. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary recently? Well, you mean besides the epidemic, the war, and all the usual crap? As long as I can remember, this part of town has been a bottomless pit, and no sign of the bottom yet. Violence is increasing in the borough. Yeah. A few nights ago, some blokes jumped me, came out of one of the condemned workshops. Fever, madness, something like that. Where did this happen? Why did you go there? In the closed workshops nearby. I worked there as an apprentice in better days. Now I only go to find trinkets or tools. Mm. Too bad I was mugged, though. There was good money in that little box of loot I lost. Have you been hurt? No. Can That's only because I ran like hell. Those men were raving lunatics, I tell you. Not even able to speak anymore, just screaming. Mm -hmm. So, there's some questions. No. Have you heard of a nurse called Dorothy Crane? Nurse Crane? So the bitch really is a nurse then. I always thought she was just some crafty foreigner, that one. So she's trying to help her fellow immigrants. Why would that make her a villain? Dorothy Crane ain't even a real name. Something like... Dorothea Craniu, something like that. Came to England fleeing the war, I was told. <laughs> that doesn't explain why she irritates you so much. Your precious nurse crane gives away medical supplies and prescriptions for free. I offered to sell it for a fair cut, but no. Miss Crane wanted to play the quiet saint. Not anything else I can ask? No. Personal questions? No. See what he's got then. Show me what you have. Be the same sort of stuff. Okay. Oh, and he's got handle parts. All right. So he's got loads of handle parts and stuff for weapons. Cool. And I can sell stuff if I want to as well. Okay. All right. Excellent to know. Oh, matey boy, come here. Excuse me, sir. I have a few questions for you. Another journalist? I didn't answer the first one, so piss off. I'm not a journalist, I'm a doctor. A doctor, you say? It's quite a rare breed in this part of town. Really? But still, here I am. Dr. Jonathan Reed, at your service. I'm Joe Peterson, the son. Mm. A colossus joke, at most. And I don't remember asking for your service, sir. Have you heard of a nurse named Dorothy Crane? She's a colleague of mine and is supposed to live around here. Dorothy Crane? Yeah, I know her. One of the few good souls who dare to help the sick around here. Could you please tell me more about her? She's a nice girl. Tries to help the migrants. I offered to give her a hand, but she said my reputation would attract too much attention. Mm-hmm. Nothing there, life in London. All right. May I ask what you do around here? I'll do whatever I want, and sometimes even more. Now sod off. Mm. According to you, physicians are scarce in this part of town. Why is that? Not familiar with this neighborhood, are you? I guess your fancy colleagues are too afraid of being stabbed in the back. This part of town does have quite a reputation. Would you say it's justified? Totally. Oh, yeah. Look at me, for instance. I always look my opponent in the eye before knocking him out. How did you become the local bully everyone is afraid of, Joe? There's no pride in roughing up poor bastards. But this is the only job I've found. And it pays well, too. A job? So you're racketeering for someone else? I got enlisted by the wet boot boys, a gang from the docks. Again. I'm their muscle for their dirty mm. work. You survive at any cost, even at the expense of others. 
Perhaps that's just the law of nature. I don't care what you think, sir. Mm -hmm. I'll do what I have to do for my own reasons. Yeah. And that's that. I'm not sure Mr. Lewis would agree with your by all means necessary philosophy, sir. Oh, do you really think he's the poor victim here? Barrett can be as sneaky as anyone. Long ago, I even called the bastard my best friend. Mm -hmm. right, nothing there. Nothing there. Okay. That's it. Can I offer you my medical expertise, Mr. Peterson? The name is Colossus Joe. Ah, oh, don't get sick. Colossus Joe, you're not very big. Goodbye, Mr. Peterson. Well, if I go back to this guy, I should have some more oh, questions for him. A... Fancy buying something, sir? You never lose your focus, do you? Joe's a Joe Peterson. He's the villain here, isn't he? But you seem to know each other. I've known Joe for years. I saw him box once or twice. He was a friend then. But these days, he's just another thug. What can you tell me about Mr. Peterson? Besides his behavior toward you, obviously. Colossus Joe was a decent boxer. Good one, even. But after his wife passed away, he found every excuse to stop training. Just wanted to pick fights with everyone. It's never easy to find a new path in life. Especially after the loss of a loved one. But crime is certainly not the best option. We've all had some rough times, ain't we? But most of us don't use our fists to see us through. Mm -hmm. And no one has ever stood up to this thug. Nobody would be fool enough to stand against a wet boot, boy. Damn it, that's it. I've done anything else I can ask. No, okay. Goodbye for now. Goodbye then. Hmm. Hello, young man. I'm Dr. Reed, and I would like to ask you a few questions. May I enter, please? Sorry, no, sir. My father does not like people entering our house, you see. Your father is worried about you, boy. He asked me to look for you. So my father actually worries about me, then? Hmm. <laughs> nice. Come on in. I'm Harry, by the way. Hello, Harry. My dreams are soaked with glue. Mm. Let's have a chat. So, may I ask you a few questions? I'm not bothered. What could be worse? Mm -hmm. How do you feel? I'm fine. I mean, it's not easy every day. I'm fine. I'm just tired of being sick all the time. If only I could be tough now. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, what can you tell me about your father? My father is an idiot who makes idiot things. That's all I have to say. Mm. Forgive my bluntness, young man. But you don't seem happy living in White Tower. Why should I? I never wanted to come here in the first place. It was my father's decision. And look around you. Does this look like a nice place to live? Not particularly, no. Alright. You have a place you call you home. You have a roof over your head. A place to call home. Many people here are not as lucky, you know. That's exactly what my father says. Harry, you should be grateful for what you've got. But I wasn't even consulted when we moved here. Of course, when you were a kid. If life here is so terrible for you, why don't you just leave this place? Have you ever spoken to your father about it? I... I don't go outside. It terrifies me so. I went outside once without my father noticing and I saw terrible things. Bloody and frightening things. So that's why you stay at home all day? For fear of the epidemic? I'm not afraid of disease or death, Dr. Reed. It's the living 
I'm afraid of. Your father and Mr. Lewis used to be good friends. What happened, Harry? I was young then. I don't remember Mr. Lewis ever coming back again after my mother died. Mm -hmm. Or was it after my father started bullying him? I don't know. But you are not responsible for your father's actions. Am I not? Dad always says that he joined that gang for my safety. So if I wasn't born, people wouldn't be worrying about Colossus Joe. Okay. Have you tried speaking to Mr. Lewis about it? I don't go out often, but yes. And he scolded me and told me to leave him alone. I guess my father frightens him too much. Okay. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. Yes, I know her. She came here to examine me when I was very sick. She said I should go out more. I guess that's it. <laughs> Everyone else needs a hint. Goodbye, young man. Take care of yourself. Okay, let's talk about his health. So, may I ask you a few questions? I'm not bothered. Keep going to check what the other options. Worse? What could be worse? Yeah. Do you need any medical help, young man? Yes, I do. I feel so tired. I don't know if it's the epidemic, but everything seems so hard. Mm hmm. You'll feel better with this, but you need to get a grip, young man. Medication alone won't cure melancholia. I'm not sure I'm happy with the idea of living long in a world like this. Okay. But I thank you for your concern, sir. Is he going to give me anything else? No, he's not. Okay. Goodbye, young man. Done then. Take care of yourself. Do I just like, wander around and steal stuff now? Yeah, I could just go around and steal everything. Oh, safe. A large box of pills. This is good. He invited me in his house and I just go around and steal all this stuff. Nice. I'm a good little vampire, aren't I? Anything up here? It's locked, all right. Yeah. Looks like it. Drop refusal letter. Mm -hmm. Okay, not much else I can do here because that's locked. I don't have a key or anything else, so back out I go. Oh, shut. Up you annoying little git. Wange, wange, wange. Right, let's get out of here. Oh, if they're annoying. Ooh. Hello, priest. Forgive my interruption. Do not apologize, my son. Father Tobias Whitaker is always happy to teach mortals about the incoming Armageddon. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed, and I just have a few questions. A scientist? You are much more lost than I thought, my son. <laughs> what do you mean when you say that I am more lost than you thought? All scientists are entangled in a world of causes and consequences. And most of them can't see the plain truth. Quite a judgmental opinion, if you ask me. But what do I know? Blinded by science as I am. Well, you are seeking answers, aren't you? Answers about the Armageddon about to strike the city. Answers about the hidden truth. Mm -hmm. I am. But the answers I seek are based on facts, not superstition. What do you mean when you say that I am more lost than you? Yeah, I know. All scientists are entangled in a world of causes and consequences. 
And most of them can't see the plain truth. Quite a judgmental opinion, if you ask. <sighs> I'd have to go for the same thing when I've already asked it. By science as I am. Well, you so are I choose the other options or I do. Answers about the Armageddon about to strike the city. Answers about the hidden truth. Well, I suppose I can spare a few minutes listening to your so-called truth. As a doctor, you must be aware of a decimating epidemic. But let me tell you that this so-called Spanish flu is just the beginning of the end. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. The beast is finally revealing itself, corrupting the flesh and the heart of men. With my own eyes, I have seen them, those minions from the abyss. Really? And what would be your answer to this biblical threat? We must fight the disease before this legion outnumbers us. But not with mm -hmm. scalpels and microscopes. No. What is left then? Cleansing fire. <laughs> Tell me, Tobias, what exactly is your plan concerning the cleansing of this city? God will recognize his own. More than once this city has risen from the ashes, hardened and purified by the flames. Purification by fire has proved useful, but where do you stop? Burn the clothes? The buildings? The corpses? Worse? The whole Your place. lack of faith is predictable. But my task is to convince rational minds like yours to see the light. This is God's will. You're mad and dangerous. You're nothing but a soulless butcher. Yep. A small time Torquemada. The Savonarola of Whitechapel. My son, if you think salvation is a free gift, go listen to the lies of that pompous fool, Joseph. Joseph. A fool. Vicar Larrabee of St. Mary's Church. While he continues preaching his fraudulent redemption, more and more people die in the streets. Have you any friends? Any family left in these terrible times? No. But I have a disciple I see as my son. He is so devoted. I send him to preach the good word in the heart of this corrupted city. Hmm. Where did you send him? I sent Samuel to the Stonebridge Cemetery, where the pestilence and evil grows night mm. after night. Sounds like a nice place. You sent him on some preaching crusade during the epidemic. As a true believer, Samuel will fear no evil while he walks through the valley of the shadow of death. Hmm. All right. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. I don't like the liberal ideas of nurses. But I especially abhor that nurse crane you mentioned. So you're not exactly a fan of Florence Nightingale's work. But nurses are essential for modern healthcare. Nuns should be the only women allowed to take care of male patients. It's obvious only they have the necessary moral fiber. Yeah. Why do you hate Nurse Crane more than other nurses? Before coming to London. She was a member of the communist resistance in her country. That's what happens when you let a woman get involved in politics. I don't think there's anything else. No, left in London. No, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Don't you fear getting sick yourself? I've been touched by God's grace. I am perfectly healthy. More on. I have heard enough for tonight. Goodbye. Right, what else can I do? Let's go back. Let's see, I can't do anything around there because nobody talks to me about him. Hmm. 
be something else I can do there. Go there. Same place again. Got to be a way around it or on it, something. There's a door back there. But I can't go around it though. Why can't I find another way around? Frustrating. Let's try getting this one. No, no, that's nothing. I've been all of these places and I'm not finding anywhere else to go. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way. Let's try this. I cannot enter. I can't enter anywhere at the moment. It's quite frustrating that I can't just use my skills to jump up where I want. It made life so much easier, I could just like, go around places. Alright. Yeah, of course it will. Let's have a munch while we are despicable. There's rats, but nobody else around at the moment. Mm -hmm. That's back to her again. God damn it. I'm just going around, 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 around in circles. What's that? Yeah, this is not helping me. There'll be somewhere else I can go around here. Alright. Alright, let's go to the hospital. Oh, so I succeeded. Alright, that's what we've done. To hold the public hospital, cover the epidemic, grant the hospital, identify blackmailer. I don't know how. Mm. Alright. Let's put it a screw. Do, do, do. Where is he? Ah, bronchitis. How do I do that? But I'd need to find him again. See, I don't know who he knows. Hint locked, hint locked. How do I find out a bit more information about these level 2? Awesome record. Hmm. Drink some more. Retrieve. About to lose trinket box. About to lose a bit. Sweet street motion. White travel told me some friends and inhabitants in some old condemned workshops attacked him. While I was looting the place for trinkets and tools, he had to drop his pack and escape the assault. Which is maybe I should go see myself what's going on in those abandoned buildings. All right, abandoned buildings. What abandoned buildings would that be? I wonder. I'm just gonna have to walk around. It should be here somewhere. I'm guessing it's there. Is it gonna be that way then. Right, let's mark it on the map, make life easier for me. Alright. Alright. Let's 
go this way, then there's got to be a way around here. I think I'll leave in white chocolate if I do that. Watch the street. Okay. I hear some skulls. Sake, I think I find someone is locked. What rubbish is that? Okay, where am I now on the map? Completely the opposite direction. That's the wrong way, in it? No, let's try that. Out. It's locked, all right. It's locked, all right, is it? Hear skulls, I'm sure I can. Right, that's where I came from. Let's go this way then. Right. Yeah, White Chapel District Serious. Yeah, I know. Never been. Collect from the bin. I wish away from here now. Let's go down here. Dum 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 dum. Let's check which direction I need to go. Yeah, I can go that way. Okay. Said that's locked, isn't it? I cannot enter. But why not? Let's see, what's that in there? I wonder. Hmm, is that Colossal Joe's son? I'm not sure. That's boring. Alright. What's up behind me? Right, that, that way. I'm hoping this is the right way to get to it. So that's the church. I've not been down here. So I'm hoping this will lead somewhere now. Abandoned buildings, warehouse. Why is he not showing up on my thing? Oh, he is now. Alright, that looks where I need to be. He's got a flame for her. Alright, I got the gun. There's three of them. If I'm careful. Damn it! I wasn't quick enough. Oh, it's, the fighting is quite frustrating. Very frustrating, in fact. Gotta find a better way. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
see if I can separate them a bit. Oh, Jesus. Alright, that then munch on each other for a minute. Yeah, yeah, let them, let them kill each other. I'm fine with that. Let's, let's come back to this. So let's have a look at the dead bodies. Anything there? Oh, I don't get to loot them. That's not fair. I do need blood though. Right, it does seem to be the best place to go. So why can't I? Oh, I can. Okay. I should have done that. Before. Too bad. Well done there. Right, I do have a few blood samples to check. Let's have a look around. Right, there are scars around somewhere. There's lots of blood around here. Another large beast. Anything useful? Mm, pipes and stuff. Cool, always good stuff to have. Hatchet, cool. I like have more weapons. It's not going to pick up. I can't get in there. Hmm, where to down? Beastie over there. So how do I get there? So again, here it is I can't get to. This is frustrating. Can't even open the door. I'm not finding any box of loot. I can't go past that. Of my health a little bit. You know. Okay, they saw me. Mm. I'll do that move quickly, but that's about it. Boxy box, bullet sled stick, okay. I'm not finding a lot of useful places though. Alright. That's not helping. 
so what's gonna go? Hmm. Yeah, so grease and stuff. Right, so I'm gonna go up there to get outside. Drink its blood, but I couldn't. Come on. Alright, I need blood. Blood, 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 blood for the blood god. I can't go past there. Can I jump back up somewhere? Shiver me timbers. Alright, it's got to be another way around then. I can't go past stuff. Idiot, you can do it. Alright, Rogue Skull, but I don't have a lot of health left. Alright, I need to get this skull by himself. Drinky, drinky. Right, he's dead. He's dead. What did he drop? Cool, some codeine and stuff. Excellent. That's what I need. Secret case. Alright, so I think I'm heading in the right kind of area. I'm going to have a good look around. Where did I come from? I, did I come from over here? There are more skulls. Drink, drink! How dare you? So you die. Not. Nothing there. Sodium hydrochloride solution and more blood samples. I need to start analysing some of this blood soon as well. Can go in the door. Box, box. Can do that. See, I'm just not paying attention. My skills are excellent. All right. Where am I now? <clears throat> right, I'm at the end of this area. So I have a look around here. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Trash dive in. But this is ours again. There's nobody here. Nobody here. 
Oh, let's just go back this way then. Follow something there. Step away, sir. I ain't gonna step away from anything. Give me all your stuff. Alright, where am I going now? Alright, I'm going slightly wrong way. Let's go back up. Go the other way again. Alright, so it's up this way and then left as soon as I can. Alright, this way. Let's head back to these warehouses. How long are we going? Oh, a little bit of time. There'll be something else around here I've not seen yet. No, I can't climb with that ability still. Samples again from there. <sighs> Could be something around here that's useful. Come on, where am I going now? See, this seems to be the abandoned warehouse that that guy talked about, but I'm not having any luck like, finding anything. Can't go through there. She's gotta be somewhere around here I can go. Can I use it as a hot no, so it was that bad, but it's not. Alright. I seem to have been here. This is not helping! So maybe that's not what I thought it was. So where is the abandoned buildings bit? I need to get back to our home base. I might cancel that. There's got to be a way to get in there. Right, let's head towards that. Because I can't do anything there. I can't investigate his actions because nobody talked to me. Or I shall have to have some thinking about this. I found out some information about some of the locals, which is cool. That's about all I've managed to do, though. Is there any way into that, I wonder? Ooh! Okay, so there's... How did I not do that one before? Hmm... Save it. Well, don't worry, I've only killed one citizen so far. That was kind of an accident, but he wasn't worth anything anyway. Alright. Is this just the. Alright. Ooh. The bodies. Cigarette case. Everyone's got a cigarette case in a ring for some reason. That's all I seem to find. Small bottle and cigarette case. There's a lot of cigarette cases around. Some money. Bottle and cigarette case. Is 
cigar case and rings. Everyone's got cigar case and rings. Is this now my new hideout? If it is, I'll be happy. Yeah, it looks like it. Those box pills. So I've now got this hideout available. Cool. I'm getting loads of stuff right. So what I need to do is save it here to get back to Pembroke Hospital and start doing stuff. Right. I can stuff there. I can unlock that door. Cool. That's my refill all. Don't need to worry about that. That's a few doors out, and there's a way to save. So. Let's go bed beds and have a look at my skills. Yeah, you got weird looking eyes, mate. You don't look too happy. Passive because I'm not sure about that. Defensive, blood barrier, coagulation, mm-hmm. Shadow veil, top of drain, sound to fade in the shadows, become invisible more enemies. See I've got that and I keep forgetting about it. Too much move to your target. And cause damage by landing. Yeah, I've done that. Ooh, look at the ultimates. Those would be cool. Science. Carter bag more. Bullet sign carry now. Carry three sims on me. Mm. Blood capacity. I like the first and stuff. Got 2000, so. Yeah, I, I need more. More bloods. Blood, 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 blood. Yeah, because it's probably the most useful at the moment, I think, is these ones. And body condition 600. Cool. More health. Physical press improved my stamina. I think I need to do that as well. It's only 300. That's another 500 I can use. Blood capacity. Increase my blood capacity of 300. Hey, leaves me 200, which I can't really use for anything. So that's good. I'm happy with that. Okay, confirm that. Confirm. Okay, that's gonna do because this has been getting on a bit. Follow it out. Oop, serious health status. I gotta figure out what I'm doing pretty quickly tonight. My mesmerizers are kind of low. Okay, health status is awful. Okay, I shall leave it there. Hopefully you enjoy this. It's been a bit frustrating. It's taken quite long to get to this point with the crashes and everything else. But thanks all for sticking with it. And hug the like button. And subscribe if you haven't before. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye for now.